this video we will prove by induction method the powers of matrices um, for the matrix uh, for example they have given m is equal to 1 0 2 3 then they sh ask us show that for any positive integer n m n is equal to 1 3 n minus 1 0 3 n so for the proof of this thing they have given a matrix and they ask us that for all the positive integers you have to prove this thing first of all uh, what we will do we will try to solve this question by using the induction method induction method is that first of all this expression which we have to show that we will prove that for this expression is true for n is equal to 1 if it is true for n is equal to 1 then we will proceed further and we assume that this statement is true for n is equal to k this is our assumption right and we will write the expression in terms of k because we are assuming that it is true for n is equal to k and then we will prove that it is also true for n is equal to k plus 1 so if it will prove that it is true for n is equal to k plus 1 then we will say that this expression is true for all positive integers so this is our induction method we are going to prove this expression by using the induction method now first is first of all we will apply for n is equal to 1 show that it's true for n is equal to 1 wherever we have the value of n just replace this value of n with 1 so we are going to this to do this expression n is replaced by 1 expression n is replaced by 1 expression n is replaced by 1 you can see when we replace n by 1 we will get the term like that and it is 1 2 0 3 which is our m matrix so this thing is proved that this given expression is true for n is equal to 1 as it is in front of you right this is the way we will do for n is equal to 1 now we in the next statement if this is true for n is equal to 1 in the next we will assume that it's also true for n is equal to k so for n is equal to k in my expression which is given i will replace n by k it will become mk 1 3 power k minus 1 0 3 power k so it is replaced by k and this is our assumption that it is also true for n is equal to k right now in the next step we prove that it's also pr true for n is equal to k plus 1 so for this proof what we have to do we will write m k plus 1 the meaning of this is m k is multiplied by m so m k matrix i will write it here its value it is multiplied by m matrix which is our given matrix i will write the value of that matrix here and then in next step what we will do just we will multiply two matrices the multiplication is simple first of all multiplication is conformable if the matrices are of same order and in case the matrix order is 2 by 2 you can see it so they are conformable for multiplication next we will proceed what we will do this row will multiply by column first column and it will be the first element right a11 so 1 multiply by 1 plus 0 multiply by 2 first element then first row multiply by second column will give you second entity or second element 1 multiply by 0 plus 0 multiply by 3 i have written here and next what will be i will take the second row it will multiply by first column then it will become the third element this multiply by 1 plus this multiply by 2 I have written here and the last element will be second row 
will multiply by second column this multiply by 0 plus this multiply by this I have written here you will add the dot sign or multiplication sign it's okay right now we will simplify them it will be 1 plus 0 next will be 0 plus 0 here will be 3k minus 1 because it multiplied by 1 plus 2 times 3k right here it first will be 0 plus 3k multiplied by 3 bases are equal we can add their powers so just I add their powers next step what we will see 3k minus 1 plus 2 times 3k so 2 times 3k plus 3k it will give you 3 times 3k and this is minus 1 just simplify it and 3 times and 3k 3 times 3k bases are equal add their powers again so it will become 3 power k plus 1 minus 1 and here it is already so you can see that this expression I will create you this expression it is true for k plus 1 and this is expression k so in place of k we have got k plus 1 just you can see so we prove that this thing is true for n is equal to k plus 1 and then we can say that it's true for all positive integers of n whatever